Well, after a lively discussion on the Linux CNC um, mailing list, Andy, uh, one of the very, very smart Linux CNC developers and overall impressively smart guy, said, um, Maybe it would be better instead of using a cup like like this over here is to just create a harmonic drive that uses two gears and a flex gear that doesn't use the flex cup. So now you're only flexing this a little bit. So how it works is, so this gear is 200 teeth, the way I made it. One of these rings is 202, which gives you the 100 to 1 gear reduction. And the other one is 200 teeth. So then what happens is the 200 tooth one just rides along and doesn't actually move while the 202 tooth one actually does the harmonic drive thing. So, I'll show you here. If I can put this together without on camera. All right, so this is the 100 tooth one, or 200 tooth one, and this one is the 202, so this is the one that moves. So, see, I'll turn it around so I can do it right-handed. See the marks? See how it engages here and here? Now, when I turn this, and then you're only flexing the amount to engage this um, inner inner flex gear instead of also flexing the cup that I guess has issues. So we run it back. So this is under to one gear reduction. Should have put like a little finger hole in this. It's really smooth. And I grab a hold of this and try to shift it. It's impressively stiff. So again, what I'd like to do is create a metal frame to mount this stuff into test. And uh, see how that would work for a fourth axis. Uh, most people are saying that this will fatigue really quickly. I don't know. I mean, I think most people that make these make them pretty coarse, like, let me see how coarse this one is. This was the first try. And so these have to flex quite a bit to get them to harmonic. <laughs> is that a word? Is that a verb? Oops. Drop that one. So, yeah. I think this will be the, uh, the experiment. At least initially. I think what I'll do is make the fourth axis kind of um, uh, flexible so that I can try different things. It's probably going to be like an open frame for now so I can um, try different settings and see how it works, try different layouts. What I did buy, what I thought I'd try is um, a like a wheel bearing cartridge you know like what you'd have in a front end of a say Ford pickup truck and I think that would work good as the nose bearing because you can preload it it doesn't have to be perfect for what I'm doing I mean I'm not going for tenths of a degree or tenths of a thousandths but I don't know what do you guys think again this is amazing. I love how this, I mean, the little mono price mini that I have prints pretty good, but the uh, Ender 3, 
it's pretty amazing. And again, using FreeCAD. So I, when Andy on the mailing list said, hey, you should try it this way, I drew it up, sent it to the printer, printed one of these, and then the, the longer flex gear, the taller flex gear, overnight. And uh, it uh, was st just finishing up printing when I got up in the morning. So it's kind of cool. You can kind of create things while you're sleeping. So do you see that? Oh, and the furnace is coming on, so I think this is a good time to stop. Talk to you guys later.